Hey everyone, welcome to the video. So, I hope you're well today and I hope you enjoyed this video. And in this video, I want to talk about maintaining peace in difficult situations or even arguments where or sensitive topics and conversations where people often get heated and things go astray, people lose the plot and arguments or a lot of stress happens. Or even in the time of like losses or like big changing circumstances also, we can get stressed. So in this video I want to talk about perspective in life, the fact every day is a day ticking away out of our life and it's so easy to forget that our life is impermanent and every day is a gift. It's an opportunity and it's, a, it's, a, it's an invaluable experience that can't be expressed with a value of money. So also what I want to say is that when situations happen, we have the option, we have the choice. Every day, everything, everything in our life is basically comes from our decisions and choices. So our life, what we experience, comes from our decisions and choices. So it's not exactly what happens, but how we respond. You've heard that quotation before, okay? Different people experience something very similar or the same, but they have a different response completely, okay? So that's based on their intention, their focus, their point of perspective, their angle of seeing things, their attitude, their mental, it's basically their mental and their look, their outlook, their heart, their intention, and then all of that springs forth a choice or a decision by the moment. So in any moment, we have, it, we have the option to rewrite or to start to undo what's been happening in the last few moments. For example, if we go, I'm tired of arguing, don't argue anymore, in the middle of an argument, you, if you didn't do that, you could argue for another hour. Everyone could get really upset, you could have a breakup of a relationship or a friendship or in your family. And then, you know, people can even get like really hurt, also physically hurt, and even emotionally, obviously, emotionally, mentally hurt. So, in this video, I want to convey to you that you have the power to make a choice and a decision in any moment. To be aware, one, to be aware of your energy, two, to be aware of your physical body language and words and tone of voice, and your actions, the stuff you do with your body, okay? Like you walk out of the room, or you really unfriendly body language or like expressing a great deal of frustration and stress and annoyance. In my life I've noticed the experience where I would, if I do this before it has much, much worse results than if I start to make the decision and to be super careful with my my attitude, my words, my response to people because I notice when I eat poorly, like let's say eat differently, worse than usual, or if I'm tired or underslept, it really affects my overall ability to cope with a situation. And I think a lot of people are the same, for sure. Another, uh, also, if um, not eating properly, not enough food for the amount of mental or physical activity you're doing, then you can become depleted or tired. And then you become stressed and agitated or upset easily. And then you lash out, obviously. You lash out on other people. So in this video, I want to ask us, like, think about how much you are careless with other people and how much you lash out easily or become just, like, you know, disgruntled. Like, you become moody. No one wants cranky, moody responses. You're just causing your own trouble. So in this video, I want to point out to you that you're often causing your own trouble in life. And maybe you're probably also playing the victim because when other people cause trouble, or you cause trouble, if other people cause trouble first, then you cause trouble to them because you get really uncompassionate and moody and grumpy with their first negative behavior. <laughs> or you could start it. So really, you need somebody, or both people, or lots of people. You just need yourself, actually, to be honest. You need yourself to be good, and very careful with your energy, and considerate of your energy and words, Actions and body language. When you are very careful like this, and shown in my own experience, you're going to have way better human relations. 
And when other people get like tired or grumpy or stressed or cranky and start lashing it on you, taking it on you, yeah, that's extremely careful time for you to be how you respond in the things I've just said, okay? There were different ways, body language, tone of voice, words you say, and your physical body movements and actions, okay? So it's best, you can either do two things. You can either add flames to the fire, the situation, or you can try cool it down with love, compassion, patience, understanding, and maintaining your peace. So this video is about maintaining your peace as much as possible, or almost like no matter what, okay? No matter what the situation, as much as possible, you're going to bring peace to the situation. So, uh, there's a nice quotation on Facebook I saw a while ago. Don't let other people bring you down to their vibration. You pull other people up to your vibration. So, for example, yesterday I was in a meat shop, um, getting some some organic dog food. Okay, so in our the raw food is the dog, really lovely. Extremely well mannered, well emotional dog, because it's not polluting and agitated with all these crap chemicals and toxins that humans do to themselves. So obviously, raw foodists are generally much more stable emotions than people who are always agitated themselves with like just so much burden of heavy material and toxic material too. So this dog is really well, well, well mannered and emotions very friendly. But anyway, so. You know, you could have the idea like, oh no, I'm going to this place, it's like, because a lot of people I, I know and my friends and some of them, some of them are vegetarians or vegans or raw foodists. Maybe not, not many are necessarily attached to their label or use that label strongly, and I certainly don't. But yeah, my diet is predominantly like raw food and vegan for sure. So, you know, you can get like, you get down, oh no, I'm going to this place where really. all this stuff's happening. Or you can say, I'm going to have a good time there like I do always, like joking with the people, having a friendly time, you know. People earning a living for their family, they don't even probably know if there's any cruelty going on, you know. So, it's about your power and your strength and your energy and your vibration. Like, let that be strong. Let that shine forth. Don't be the victim or play the victim or let others bring you down you have to have it in your intentional field like your idea your powerful plan and intention to want to have peace and as much peace no matter what and not to get sucked into other people's vibration energy or what some people call drama other people's negative words or unconscious or moody or attacking words okay or behavior so you have to be the ocean or the island of peace and you have to try and bring love and compassion and patience and understanding and wisdom and balance and healthiness to a situation that's turbulent. And then when things aren't testing in life, you just try and enjoy your day, your ordinary daily life. But when things are challenging with people or a situation, choose peace within yourself first. And choose emotional sensitivity, like aliveness, compassion, you know. So you have emotions and you're sensitive to the people and to the situation. But you allow yourself to keep as much peace and love as possible. And harmony and clear your mind happens as a result of this intention also. So when you have this focus and idea and plan and intention for yourself, then you can bring goodness and healing energy to a situation and to people. And you can have less stress and enjoy life more also. So you don't get knocked off your balance and center as easily. So you have to be really careful, like I said earlier, about sleep, rest, food. And also for women, their menses, their moon time, their menstrual cycle also. Because at that detoxing time of the month, there, I'd recommend herbs maca. Look below my link. Highly recommend maca. Highly recommend maca for women and for men. It's amazing for balancing hormones and boosting your horm all of your hormones. It's excellent for women at that their time of the month, a beautiful time of the month, okay? Preparation for a baby. But overall, like I said, sleep, rest, and diet, and balancing your life, balancing your stress. Uh, you have to look after yourself, optimize. So I plan having a nice day and eating better than yesterday, because yesterday I, didn't, I had a little bit of an off day with the food, and it made me sleep way longer wake up much slower and just detoxing in the morning like more phlegm 
So I just have to be realistic and be real with you, not trying to like hide anything or pretend, just trying to be clear and straightforward with you, the effects of our choices. So anyway, I think this video says enough. I hope it serves you and helped you in your journey, and I wish you a beautiful day. Check out my links below for one-to-one -one coaching or my herb shop, Higher Self Herbs, for herbs, superfoods, enzymes, and essential oils. And I have books written, and subscribe if you're new, you're welcome. And also thanks for everyone for your support and sharing and liking the video. And befriend me on Facebook. And other than that, I'll see you again in another video. Have a lovely day. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you.